And joining us now is our political reporter, Olivia Utley, who joins us from Windsor. Good morning to you, Olivia. Um, so the front page of the Mail this morning, their big splash is Rishi saying, I'll deport channel migrants. New laws, they say, uh, set to be introduced this week. So tell us, uh, what more do we know? Well, it's a pretty big uh, policy announcement from the government. They're proposing to put forward this legislation on Tuesday. Essentially, what would happen is that anyone arriving on small boats would be deported immediately to Rwanda or another third country, a third safe country, they call it. Um, obviously, this is a big part of Rishi Sunak's, one of his five pledges is to stop the small boats, and it marks a big uh, gap in policy with Keir Starmer, who actually didn't mention small boats in his speech the other day where he set out his five plans for government. So Rishi Sunak hopes this is going to be a real vote winner. Whether this legislation will actually make it all the way through the House of Commons is another question, because we know that it is popular among Conservative MPs. Uh, when, when polled, the public comes out very much against the small boats and very much wants to deal with the crisis, which means that Conservative MPs are supportive of any measures to deal with it. Labour obviously will, uh, will, will oppose it. It should get through the first stage in the House of Commons, but we know that any measures to deal with the small boats crisis tends to get held up in the Lords. And then, of course, there's the issue of it going through the courts afterwards. And previously, what we've seen is human rights groups and human rights lawyers intervening at the last minute, bringing a case to court, changing case law and making it very difficult for the government to get through a law like this. But we do know this will be very popular with Rishi Sunak's own backbenchers and any sign that he's working on those five pledges that he gave a few weeks ago, it feels finally as though the tide is sort of beginning to turn in Rishi Sunak's favour and something like this could make that turn more solid. And we do know from the, from the polling that this is a very important issue for a, a lot of voters in the UK. So what pressure is this, because he's made such a strong commitment here, what pressure does this now put on Keir Starmer, as you say, who's not really addressed this directly in the same way so far? It certainly puts quite a lot of pressure on Keir Starmer. It was a very notable omission from his speech the other day, and a few journalists actually asked for it, mostly from the Mail, the Sun, uh, the Telegraph, the sort of voters, the sort of swing voters who Keir Starmer needs to get on side. And at the moment, the problem with these asylum seekers coming to the UK is that the average wait time for their case to be heard is 423 days. So we've got these hotels all over places, mainly uh, around the south coast filled with uh, asylum seekers and of course that has its own impact on the social and economic uh, structure of particular areas so it is an issue which voters feel very strongly about so it'll be fascinating to see in the next few days and weeks how Keir Starmer responds to this and if that issue of small boats begins to move up his political agenda